This is the Skull Clown. Fans, this is Dark Skull Clown here to do a clown rant on Kingdom Hearts. Now, I don't hate Kingdom Hearts. I love Kingdom Hearts. I, well, I can't wait for Kingdom Hearts 3. I'm dead serious. I love Kingdom Hearts series. I have the Keyblade right here. Look. You guys know. What kind of loud? I used to hang it up here in the background, but I took it out because it's broken and shit. Yeah, it's kind of broken here. I had to, like, use, um, paint wood to do it, and this is coming off too, you see? Yeah, it's coming off, and I had to put this back together. Um, I got this as a Christmas present. So, um, that was pretty cool. When I went to the con, a lot of people told me, where did you get this? And I'm like, I got it off of, I mean, I, my, my brother-in-law and my sister gave it to me for Christmas on eBay, because they, they, not on Amazon, because they work from Amazon. So they were like, damn! And there are other Keyblades that are a little shorter than this, but moving on to my clown rant. Um, I just want to show you how much I love Kingdom Hearts. But I love this series. I do. And what I have a problem with fucking people with this series is that I'm going to play Kingdom Hearts 1. I'm going to play Kingdom Hearts 2. And I'm going to play Kingdom Hearts 3. Because fuck the other games. I don't have to pay attention to them because they're not the main story. Every Kingdom Hearts game is important to the story. You have to play every Kingdom Hearts game from start to finish to know the story. If you're going to go in playing Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts 2, to go straight to Kingdom Hearts 3, oh motherfucker, you're going to be sad. You're going to be pissed. You're going to be disappointed. You're going to think this game sucks. And it's not. It's going to be beautiful and awesome. And yet you're going to be confused like, who's, why is Donald and Goofy going after this? Why does Donald and Goofy want their king? Wait, who's Riku? Who's Shion? Who's Roxas? Who the fuck is Ven? All those stuff are going to come to your head. You know what that tells me? You're not a Kingdom Hearts fan. You're not. You are casual. Kingdom Hearts fan. You're in and out of the franchise. Is that bad? It depends. It depends. It depends how you do it. It depends how you see it. And from what I'm seeing from the people that are talking about it, it's not good. Oh, I'm playing Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and then 3. Because fuck the other ones. I waited so long for Kingdom Hearts 3 after I played Kingdom Hearts 2. I can't wait for it. You're going to be fucking confused. As fuck. And this is what Square Enix did. They showed the timeline thing and all that. I haven't watched it. Well, I watched the Japanese version just for a moment. And I took and I got myself out of it because they fucked up. Why? Because they didn't do it in order. Alright? We're in the day and age now that we can play Kingdom Hearts, the series, in order. But no, no one doesn't want to fucking do that. Why? Oh, I'm playing Kingdom Hearts 1. Okay, fine, good. Then, um, then, look, if you play Kingdom Hearts 1 when it first came out, and then Chain of Memories when it first came out, then Kingdom Hearts 2 when it first came out, fine, that's different. But if you just got into the franchise, and you're like, oh, I'm just going to play Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and 3, and all oh, you were already like that to begin with, and that's just sad. Sad and pathetic. It is. You're going to miss a lot of things that were in the Kingdom Hearts series. Really, a lot. And most people be like, oh, I don't care. I could just look it up online, you know? But that's not my job. Then don't review a game. Don't review the game. Do not review a game that's part of a franchise. I don't do it. Why the fuck should I do it? Because people want more of me. People will be like, do you know this? Do you know that? And if I don't know it, they will scold me to death. Or they'll be like, well, now you know. That's why I'm into the Godzilla franchise. That's why I'm so into the Marvel franchise. <laughs> That's why I'm so into the Kingdom Hearts franchise. Because I'm a, I vested my time and effort into these games. And the people that have played Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, they haven't invested into the series. Fuck you. <laughs> 
you invested into the series with what? That's all you did. That's all you invested into the game. Played it, dropped it, done. That's all you did? You didn't invest? That's not investing. Investing into a game is to play the whole saga. You play buff by sleep. I can understand not playing the mobile version. It's mobile. I get it. But this is what the timeline is. Play buff by sleep. Kingdom Hearts. Chain of Memories. 358 slash 2 days. Kingdom Hearts 2. Recoded. And Dream Drop Distance. Those are the 7 games you need to play in order. And not be confused whatsoever. Okay? It must be like, well, I played Dream Drop Distance and I'm still confused. Sad. Sad. Sad, 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 sad. I'm sorry. The people that... I, I, that's another complaint too. The people that hate Dream Drop Distance have no reason to hate it. Like, I, I sit back in some videos and I'd be like, alright, well, uh, why do you hate it? Tell me. And then they bring out stupid reasons why they hate it and it's like... Maybe there is a YouTube video out there that blames the reason why they hate it and it's really good and all that and authentic. Instead of being stupid and dumb. Because that's what mostly I see on YouTube. Stupidity. How the fuck is this possible? I'm seeing it from my favorite YouTubers. Now, I'm not saying the YouTubers that I talk to. No. I'm talking about YouTubers that are higher than me that never talk to me. <laughs> you know? Uh, I'm seeing pathetic shit from them and it's like... What are you guys doing? What what's come? What, what has what has come to us? Is it because we're being more enlightened in the world, being different? That's people are just showing more of their shitty sh side, showing more of their true side. Then fuck, maybe we should not subscribe to these fucking pathetic people. Then you know. But moving on, I I feel like. You're going to be really confused with Kingdom Hearts if you don't play all the series. If I get a comment saying that I'm just going to, uh, fuck you, I'm just going to play Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, and then 3. I am deleting your comment so fast that you'll be like, fuck you, Scar Clown. And I hope you do, because <laughs> you're dumb. You're cute, but you're dumb. You try to skip franchises... You try to skip series so you can get the newts and crannies of everything, but you can't. Because one little thing drops off everything. Oh, and by the way, actually, let me really start with the whole timeline again. Play, play Birth by Sleep, then Birth by Sleep 0 0.2, then Kingdom Hearts 1, then um, Chain Memories, Kingdom Hearts 2. 358 slash 2 days. Code it, Dream Drop Distance, and then Kingdom Hearts 3. Look at that. You have, you have, t you have 10 games to play, guys. 10 games to play through the whole series. And most people might say, yeah, I went to the series, but they went to different consoles, and I was like, fuck you, I'm not going to different consoles. I did, and it was fucking worth it. Alright? But now, you have no reason to fucking complain. Oh, the Kingdom Hearts series is in different, different, um, different consoles. You have, you have no excuse anymore, motherfucker. You don't. You don't. Kingdom Hearts, all the Kingdom Hearts games are in the PlayStation 4. And soon to be, all of them with Kingdom Hearts 3 in the PlayStation 4. So, at the end of the day, you have no, no fucking complaints. At all. Whatsoever, and yet you still complain. Oh, I'm so confused. How come they didn't mention this? That's why I'm pissed off that Square is gonna mention a timeline thing. What they did in Dream Drop Distance of um, of the series when they did that in Dream Drop Distance, I was like, why? For the people that just got into the series, fuck them, fuck them. They don't need it. They don't fucking need it. They don't. Okay. Oh, I'm going to get into Kingdom Hearts. Might as well play Dream Drive Distance. You suck. You fucking suck. Okay? Oh, it's not my fault I want to get into the Kingdom Hearts saga. Okay. It's not your fault. But it is your fault when you start from not number one. Or the prequel. 
You start from the end. Who the fuck does that? Yeah, I'm going to watch the Infinity War. I'm going to watch in, in, um, Infinity War. And I didn't watch the other Marvel movies. So, there you go. Does, does that sound stupid to you? Huh? What if someone told you, Oh, I never watched none of the Marvel movies, but I am going to watch uh, Marvel Infinity New War. What are you going to tell them? What the fuck are you going to tell them? I don't want, I'm going to tell them. You're stupid. You're a dumbass. Look at the fucking, look at the other movies. Oh, there's too much of them. Is that, is, is that what's wrong with you? There's too many games and movies to sit through and to put in your brain and process it? That's too much? I'm sorry that your brain can't process like a fuck, I'm sorry that your brain cannot process faster than a hamster. I'm sorry. Because when I play the Kingdom Hearts Saga, my brain can process that shit pretty fast. I know the timeline. I know the story. I know the nooks and crannies of it. And all I'm a, and I have everything aligned. The only thing I'm waiting is, is for Kingdom Hearts 3 to add all the dots together. Because there's just pieces missing, and that will be Kingdom Hearts 3. But the people that never played the other Kingdom Hearts sagas, instead of Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, you're going to be like, oh, there's more There's more questions to the answer. Well, yeah, because you didn't play the other games, you dumb fuck. How? How do you have a mindset so stupid because that's what it is, stupid, and not think smart and intelligent, and be like, yeah, I want to play this whole series and know what I'm getting into, so I can, so I know what I'm getting into in Kingdom Hearts 3. Instead of being, no, fuck the series, I'm just gonna play one and two, and then when three comes out, I'm gonna play it, and if it's, and if it's not my, and if, and if they, and, and if I don't get it, then I'm just gonna talk shit. This is what I, I have a problem with people. I have a, I have problems with Americans being like this. Because to me, get the fuck out of my face. That's, that, that's what it says to me. It's like my Shin Godzilla video. Alright? And I fucking, that video, I, I could, I'll place that video to the moon because it, it explains everything how I feel about how Americans are and how they fucking treat fucking franchises and sagas just because they don't give a fuck about learning more. That's the problem with fucking Americans. They don't want to learn more. They want to be spoon fed to them. Fucking the German motherfuckers, that's why you don't learn anything. Like in Kingdom Hearts. That's why you're all going to be disappointed when you do play Kingdom Hearts 3. And this goes to anybody out there that, that only played Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. Pathetic. You are pathetic in my eyes. Always will be. Play, play the whole saga. Okay? Oh, I don't have the time and money. If you're a big YouTuber, and you're doing this for a living, shut the fuck up and do it. No, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Okay? Because people like me, lo lo YouTubers like me, have to work fucking hard. Strive and walk from the bottom of the barrel. To fucking walk like this. And what do you do? When you get to the top. Wipe your ass with it. That's what you do. And I'm done. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, like, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with anybody. I don't care who. It could be someone that hates me forever. And I won't give two fucking shits. This is Scorpion signing off. Have a nice day.